Welcome to Affluence Online, the place to learn about investing and managing your finances. Do you find it hard to save money? Do you spend all of your income every month and have nothing to spare? Would you like to be able to save without impacting your lifestyle? We should all try to save at least something each month, no matter how little. The habit of saving can be as important as the amount you can afford to put away and the long-term benefits are almost always positive. But how to save money when there are so many demands made on it is another matter. In this video, you will find some incredibly simple tips for money management that you will be able to use right now and start taking control of your personal finances. Because this is an information-packed subject, we've broken it up into a series of three videos. This is part three. If you missed part one and two, be sure to check out the links to the videos in the description below. Before we jump into the video, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss our upcoming videos. Now let's get started. Here are some ways to save money over time. 1. Cut out TV time. One big way to save money is to drastically cut down on the amount of television you watch. There are a lot of financial benefits to this. Less exposure to spending-inducing ads, a lower electric bill, more time to focus on other things in life, such as a side business, and so on. 2. Sign up for every free customer rewards program you can. No matter where you live, you'll find plenty of retailers who are willing to reward you for shopping at their store. Here's a basic game plan for maximizing these programs. Create a Gmail or Yahoo address just for these mailings, collect every card you can, and then check that account for extra coupons whenever you're ready to shop. You can add to those rewards and discounts by using rewards credit cards to earn points on purchases at a wide range of stores that can be redeemed for cashback or other benefits. 3. Host Friends at Home Going out to eat or out on the town has a way of completely destroying both your food budget and your entertainment budget in one fell swoop. And no matter what, it is always cheaper to stay in with friends and come up with your own entertainment. Instead of hitting the town, host a fun pitch in dinner with your friends. Play cards, sit around a fire pit, or watch movies with your friends. You'll all save money and have a blast. Four, repair clothing instead of tossing it. Don't toss out a shirt because of a broken button. So on a new one with some closely matched thread. Don't toss out pants because of a hole in them. Put in a patch of some sort and save them for times when you're working around the house. Most basic sewing jobs can be completed by anyone and a little bit of practice goes a long way. Learning basic sewing skills is a great way to save money and extend the life of your clothing. 5. Don't spend big money entertaining your children. Most children, especially young ones, can be entertained very cheaply. Buy them an end roll of newspaper from your local paper and let their creativity run wild. Play ball in the backyard. Head to the park. Plant a garden. Teach them to ride a bike without training wheels once and for all. Realize that what your children want most of all is your time, not your stuff, and you'll find money in your pocket and joy in your heart. Six, negotiate rates with your credit card company or complete a balance transfer. If you're paying a lot of interest on your credit cards, it's important to know that you do have some power as long as you've been making your payments. Not only do you have the right to negotiate your current interest rate with your credit card issuer, but you have the right to transfer your balance to an entirely different card as well. Start by calling your card issuer at the number on the back of your card and explaining your request. 
If you don't make any progress with them, check out some balance transfer credit cards to find one with an introductory 0% APR that could help you save hundreds of dollars in interest over time. 7. Drink more water. Not only does drinking plenty of water have great health benefits, it has financial benefits too. Drink a big glass of water before each meal in order to stay fuller longer and ultimately eat less. Not only will you save on the food bill, but you'll also feel better after you become properly hydrated. Even better, drinking more water, whether in a refillable bottle or at restaurants, means spending less money on beverages like soda, juice, and tea. Remember, tap water is not only just as clean as bottled water, it's also free. 8. Avoid convenience foods and fast food. Instead of eating fast food or just nuking some prepackaged dinner when you get home, Try making some simple and healthy replacements that you can take with you. An hour's worth of preparation one weekend can you leave you with a ton of cheap and easy dinner and snack options for the following week. 9. Quit smoking If you're still a smoker, you have to know by now that your habit is not only expensive, but potentially deadly as well. If you want to add years to your life, and save a boatload of money, the easiest thing to do is to stop smoking altogether. You can quit cold turkey, try some of the many anti-smoking products that are out there, or switch to an electronic cigarette to buy some time. Whichever path you choose, you will be much better off. 10. Clean or change out your car's air filter. A clean air filter can improve your gas mileage by up to 7%, saving you more than $100 for every 10,000 miles driven in just an average vehicle. Cleaning your air filter is easy to do in just a few minutes. Just follow the instructions in your vehicle's manual and you're good to go. If yours is beyond help, also consider changing it out for a new one. At most stores, a new air filter goes for less than $10. 11. Make your own gifts instead of buying stuff from the store. If you want to save money while also giving generously, creating your own homemade gifts is one way to accomplish both goals. You can make food mixes, candles, fresh baked bread, or cookies, soap, and all kinds of other things at home quite easily and inexpensively. These make spectacular gifts for others because they involve your personal touch, something you can buy from the store, and quite often they're consumable, meaning they don't wind up filling someone's closet with junk. Even better, include a personal handwritten note with the gift. 12. Avoid stress spending. It's easy to justify spending money just to wind down from a stressful day at work. However, it's rarely a good idea. Instead of buying things you don't need to make yourself feel better, it might be wise to find other ways to de-stress instead. Exercise is always a good option, as is meditation, or even a good old-fashioned nap, read, watch movies, or work in your yard if you're stressed out. Spending money won't reduce your stress in the long run. 13. Do a maintenance run on your appliances. Check them to make sure there isn't any dust clogging them, that they're fairly clean. Look behind the appliances and use your vacuum to gently clear away dust. Check all of the vents, especially on refrigerators, dryers, and heating and cooling units. The less dust you have blocking the mechanics of these devices, the more efficiently they'll run, saving you on your energy bill, and the longer they'll last, saving you on replacement costs. 14. Shop for new auto and or home insurance. If you own a car or home, insurance is pretty much a given, and you want to ensure that you're getting the best deal for your needs. It can be beneficial to shop around 
Consider new car insurance or home insurance policy every few years to make sure you're getting the best deal. 15. Give the gift of labor. For new parents, give an evening of babysitting as a gift. If you know pet owners, offer to take care of their pets when they travel. Offer up some lawn care as a gift to a new homeowner. 16. Do holiday shopping right after the holidays. Most people use this technique for Christmas, but it works for every holiday. Wait until about two days after a holiday, then go out shopping for items you need that are themed for that day. Get a Mother's Day card for next year the day after Mother's Day. Get Easter egg decorating kits the day after Easter and Halloween decorations on November 1st. Get wrapping paper, cards, bows, and gift bags the day after Christmas. The discounts are tremendous and you can just put this stuff in the closet until next year. 17. Avoid the mall. The mall might be a fun place to people watch, but it can also be packed with temptation. That's why you should avoid the mall unless you actually need to purchase something. Trust me, window shopping when you're on a budget can be torture. Unburden yourself and find something else to do when you need some entertainment. A walk outdoors, a fun puzzle, or a good movie can easily replace your regular mall shopping adventures. 18. Cancel magazine subscriptions. Do you have a pile of unread magazines sitting around your house? It's likely the result of a subscription that you're not reading. Not only should you not renew that magazine, but you should give their subscription department a call and try to cancel for a refund. You never know until you ask. They might even give you the prorated amount back. I've had to call my subscriptions in the past and I've never regretted it. 19. Eat breakfast. Eating a healthy breakfast fills you up with energy for the day, while also curbing your desire for a big, expensive lunch. Meanwhile, breakfast can be very healthy, quick, and inexpensive. A bowl of oatmeal in the morning is often the one thing that keeps me from running out to eat an expensive lunch later in the day. 20. Brown bag your lunch. Instead of going out to eat at work, take your own lunch, if not every day, then at least a couple times a week. With some thoughtful preparation and just a few minutes of time, you can create something quite enjoyable for your brown bag lunch and save a fistful of cash each time you do. Your coworkers may not understand your desire to save money, but that's their problem. 21. Learn how to dress minimally. Buy clothes that mix and match well and you won't need nearly as many clothes. If you have 5 pants, 7 shirts, and 7 ties that all go together, you basically have an endless number of options already. 22. Start a garden. Gardening can be an inexpensive hobby if you have a yard. Just rent a tiller, till up a patch, plant some plants, Keep it weeded and you'll have a very inexpensive hobby that produces healthy food for your family. 23. Buy staples in bulk. With items you use a lot of, buy them in bulk. For example, buy trash bags, laundry detergent, and diapers in the largest packages you can find. This cuts down on their cost per usage by quite a bit and, over the long haul, adds up to significant savings. 24. Pack food for road trips. Whenever you're ready to hit the road, take some time to pack snacks and meals you can easily eat on the go. That way, instead of shopping in the middle of the trip, driving around looking for a place to eat, spending a bunch of time there, and then paying a hefty bill, you can just eat on the road or better yet, stop at a nice park and stretch out for a bit. Convenience foods are notoriously expensive so you're better off avoiding them whenever possible. 25. Consolidate your student loans. Interest rates are very low right now, so depending on the type of loans you have, it could be worthwhile to consolidate your student loans into one low-rate package. 26. Don't speed. 
Not only is speeding inefficient in terms of gasoline mileage, it can also get you pulled over and cost you a bundle between a ticket and higher insurance premiums. It's far more cost efficient to just drive the speed limit, keep that gas in the tank, and keep the cops off your tail. 27. Read more. Reading is one of the cheapest and most beneficial hobbies around. Most towns have a library available to the public. Just go there and check out some books that might interest you. Then spend some of your free time in a cozy place in your house reading away. You'll learn something new, improve your reading ability, enjoy yourself, and not have to spend a dime. 28. Always ask for fees to be waived. Anytime you sign up for a service of any kind and there are sign-up fees, ask for them to be waived. Sometimes, but not always, they will be. And you save money just by being forthright about not wanting to pay excessive fees. 29. Be less meat. Meat is very expensive when you consider its nutritional value, especially as compared to vegetables and fruits. And in almost every case, protein packed staples like beans offer a much better value. Even if you don't want to become a full-fledged vegetarian, you can still save for a bundle just by eating meat less often. 30. Make your own beer or wine. If you enjoy an occasional drink, this is a great way to enjoy some of your favorite beverages at a steep discount. You can easily make 5 gallons of beer or wine at once and it doesn't take that long once you've mastered the process. Even better, it's a great activity to do with friends. You buy the equipment, they bring the juice, and you both get a few bottles of delicious homemade wine out of the deal. Some nice entertainment plus some free beverages, that's a great frugal deal. 31. Get on the automatic repayment plan for any student loans you have. Many student loans offer a small rate reduction if you sign up for their automatic debt repayment plan. This way, not only do you save a few bucks a month, you don't have to go to the effort of actually paying the bill either. 32. Utilize online bill pay with your bank. This serves two purposes. First, it keeps you in much closer contact with your money as you can keep a very close eye on your balance and be that much less likely to overdraft. Second, it saves you money on stamps and paper checks by allowing you to just fill it in an online form, click submit, and have your bill paid. 33. Check your credit report for free once a year. Use your annual free credit report from the free credit reporting bureaus to look for inaccuracies or opportunities to raise your score. Credit scores are used by loan providers, landlords, and others to determine what they'll sell you and at what price. For example, a low credit score can increase the cost of a 16-month $20,000 auto loan by more than $5,000. 34. Don't skimp on preventive health care. Routine dental checkups, for example, help prevent fillings, root canals, and dental crowns, all of which are expensive and no fun. 35. Comparison shop for prescription drugs. Don't just rely on the closest drugstore because the cost to you can vary significantly from pharmacy to pharmacy. Make sure to check out your local pharmacist, supermarkets, wholesale clubs, and mail order pharmacies. 36. Purchase store brand over-the-counter medications. Store brand medications often cost 20 to 40 percent less than nationally advertised brands, but are the exact same formula. 37. Cut laundry detergent use in half. Many laundry detergents on the market sold today are highly concentrated. Be sure to use the smallest suggested amount. Making laundry detergent is said to be relatively cheap and easy, especially if you prefer to use greener natural products. 38. Go natural. 
Speaking of making your laundry detergent, using everyday items you already have around your home to clean works for many. You'd be surprised what you can do with vinegar and lemon. 39. Dish the paper. Cutting out paper towels and using cloths and napkins that you can simply wash and reuse is a simple way to save. 40. Check multiple sites for low airfares. Want to plan your dream vacation for cheap? Don't rely on a single airline search engine to show you all inexpensive fares. Some discount carriers do not allow their flights to be listed in these third-party searches, so you need to check their websites separately. 41. Unsubscribe. Avoid temptation by unsubscribing from marketing emails and texts from the stores where you spend the most money. By law, each marketing email is required to have an unsubscribe link, usually at the bottom of the email, or you can reply to any text with stop, and that should opt you out of their list. 42. Try haggling. It's amazing why you can get discounted if you'll just press the point. Sometimes, if you can't get a lower price on a service or item, you can ask for additional perks for the same price. You're still saving money. 43. Keep your home organized. Sometimes, you have to pay a bit up front to keep your home organized, but keeping things in proper places keeps you from buying more than what you need. 44. Pass on extended warranties. A 129 two-year warranty extension on a $300 product is just not worth it. Warranties are insurance, and we rarely need to insure something with that little. 45. Buy term life insurance. In the vast majority of cases, any other life insurance product is just not worth the extra cost. 46. Double check your insurance policies. Don't pay for more insurance coverage than you need. 47. Suspend your insurance coverage when you're out of town. Are you going to be leaving your car to sit in the garage for a couple of weeks while you go on vacation? Ask your insurance company about downgrading your coverage for that time. You can drop your liability coverage and reduce your premiums for a short time. 48. Pay your life insurance annually. Insurance companies charge you more if you pay monthly, quarterly, or semi-annually. Pay once a year and you'll pay less in premiums. 49. Pay car insurance semi-annually. Many car insurance companies offer quarterly and semi-annual payment options. It costs more to pay quarterly and twice a year is more convenient anyway. 50. Wash your clothes on cold. Today's detergents typically do just as good a job cleaning on the cold cycle as a warmer cycle. And in fact, this might make your clothes last longer. 51. Learn to drive a manual transmission car. They tend to have lower cost maintenance and use less gas. 52. Use cruise control. Cruise control helps reduce wear and tear on your vehicle and can boost your fuel efficiency. 53. Consider fuel efficiency when you buy a new car. This is especially true if you put a lot of miles on your vehicle or if you are in consistent stop and go traffic. Saving a mile per gallon or more can really add up. 54. Learn about investing. The more you know about investing, the better choices you'll make. This means you can make more from your investments and save money in fees. 55. Use flexible spending accounts. FSAs allow you to pay certain medical, dental, and child care expenses using pre-tax dollars. If you're not taking advantage of these discounts, you're wasting money. Check with your HR department about enrolling in an FSA during your employer's open enrollment period. 56. Use a health savings account. If you have a qualifying high-deductible health plan, you can save even more with an HSA. 
these accounts set aside pre-tax dollars for health-related expenses. Thank you for spending some time with Affluence Online. Make sure to like and subscribe to our channel so you never miss another video. We also handpick these videos that we recommend you watch next. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you back again soon.